This planned meeting between President Kiir and Riek Machar will look at ways of forming the interim government and implementing the signed previous agreements. One such agreement is the cessation of hostilities deal inked by Bosman last month. So far, honoring that deal has been a challenge. So to find out whether if this round of talks can bring the much-needed tranquility back to South Sudan, I asked the peace brokers IGAD what they anticipate. In the past, they have signed agreements, they have made uh, pledges that they will do it. Uh, let's wait to see whether they, they will actually uh, actualize what they have said. The meeting between President Salva Kiir and rebel chief Riek Machar will be hosted by the Ethiopian Prime Minister at the National Palace of the Nation. Both the government of South Sudan and the rebels are hopeful that this time things might change for the better. The two principles are actually coming in order to, to boost the, the process so that the parties continue to talk and negotiate in good faith so that they expedite the process in order to reach a final and lasting agreement that will bring peace to our people in South Sudan. All we are looking for here is that we want to end the crisis. We want to reach a meaningful and a genuine peace that will not only be realized by the leaders, but it shall also be realized by the people of South Sudan, the common people in their villages, wherever they are, because they are in their need of this peace and they are waiting for us. Across the region, there are also high hopes that the internal brawl will stop in South Sudan soon. Igad says if things do not change as planned, there might be a change of strategies in handling the whole negotiation process. We are looking for better strategies, we are looking for ways forward, but we cannot discuss those issues now uh, on the media, but we, they are being worked out by our, our heads of state they are being worked out by our Council of Ministers. These are being worked out, and I hope in the, not in the distant future. Still in the world's newest nation, there are reports of intense fightings, one accusing the other for the happenings. The Eastern Africa region's heads of state are also expected to hold a summit here in Addis Ababa in a very near future to discuss ways of finding a lasting peace in South Sudan. Then the leaders might even suggest tougher measures to be taken against all sides to guarantee the safety of civilians in South Sudan. Grumjala CCTV, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.